And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lissandra Swain. This is an exciting one. We have um, this new really cool champion, Lissandra, that we're going to be pairing with Swain. Awesome champion combination. This is going to be a control deck that we have with uh, Lissandra and Swain where we're going to be trying to clear the board quite a bit. All right, so now let's, whenever you summon Lissandra, you get a Frozen Thrall. Um, so this Frozen Thrall is going to be chilling out here with the Countdown 8 being a landmark. We're also going to play regular Frozen Thrall being that landmark that's going to be chilling. And then, of course, we're going to have Dark Lorne Inquisitor, how this card's super important with Lissandra, with the, you know, being able to turn these Frozen Thralls into the Frost Guard Thralls earlier with that um, ability. But still, so our, our side of the board is going to be a bunch of landmarks with those three cards. And so while our opponent's going to be playing a bunch of units out and we're playing landmarks. So that's, you know, that sounds like that's something that's not very good for us. So basically we're going to be behind on board and so we're, we're going to need to catch up. And we're going to do that with some sweepers. We're going to be playing three ice shards, the new fast speed sweeper that deals one to everything. We're going to have avalanche in here dealing two to all units and we're going to have blighted ravine uh, dealing two to everything. So this is a way that we can just pair these together and help catch up deal two two or one to everything whenever they're going wide. Now we're also going to be able to have ravenous flock with all of those. So if they have things with, you know, three, four, five, six health that survive that we can have ravenous flock for just one mana, help take down some larger stuff. Um, and then also some death sand in there too, for some more removal. But with all those, with all these things that do damage to everything, that's a ton of damage, ton of non-combat damage for Swain. Swain only needs 12 non-combat damage to level up. That should not be too difficult when we have these Blighter Ravines and Avalanches and High Shards and add them all together to get leveled up Swain. Uh, let's see. But then we'll have Leviathan to pair with Swain, obviously, for our, our top end. We have one Babbling Bjerg to draw Leviathan, and we got some Whispered Words in here for some card draw. I know this is Reputation. Uh, I cost two, but... W um, our deck's not about that at all. We're not going to do the whole reputation thing. No big deal. It's still four mana draw two for this game. For a four mana draw two is perfectly fine because there's going to be some times like where we definitely need some extra card draw. So we'll have that in there too. Um, Troll Chance in here to protect Lissandra and that's our deck. So it's going to be Frozen Thralls and the Sweepers. So here we go. Let's go play our five games in ranked and uh, let's see how we do. All right, we got Sivir plus Renekton. So this is going to be a real aggressive deck. They got Noxus. We're going to need ways to clear the board. We got Avalanche. We got Blighted Ravine. Very good. Um, Death's Hand, I could see Mulliganing, but I think I'm going to just keep it. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it. I could see Mulligan the Death's Hand, though, that being a little expensive, but I'm hoping that like the Death's Hand can pair with the Ravine or the Avalanche to take down bigger things like uh, Renekton. Good card, good card to draw. Ooh, no one drop. No one drop for them. That's a surprise, no one drop. So I'm going to... Maybe I just do this. No, we'll just play the Tavern Keeper. Hmm. I was thinking about doing like the Death's Hand and the next turn playing the Ravine. Um, so it would, you know, count down and kill their 4 3. That's probably just better to do that. Maybe I shouldn't have played the. This is this is a difficult deck to sequence. This, these were some really difficult turns to sequence. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. Man, those things are big. 
Yeah, maybe it was just take the hit for four and then play Tavern Keeper afterwards. I could see that. These things are big. Yeah, Spell Shield is a problem. Spell Shield definitely a problem. Wow. This then did not end up going very well. It is me. <laughs> yeah, tough, tough game to navigate. I guess I need to just slow down on everything and just wait longer on basically everything. Um, but for now, of course, this game is pretty over. Yeah, I mean, I just have to, I just have to play this just to take the least amount of damage as possible. You know, blocking the 6-2 Overwhelm. We'll just challenge with the 5 power. Yeah, that works. Good hand for the opponent. That exhaust card is amazing. How do I kill three things? Of a fair fight? I can't really cast Guillotine right now. Okay, that could keep me alive. Really? Boom. Okay, so let's play against some smaller units. Not the not the deck that's just like absolutely huge <laughs> overwhelms when we're trying to avalanche everything. But I don't know, spell shield is a problem. I need to be a lot more patient instead of using like multiple cards on a four three than a four four. Okay, so this is you know control deck. We don't really need the removal. We need the threats against control. At least not not like really this two damage removal. All right, I like that Frozen Thrall. We get to start on turn one. That's good. That's exactly what we needed. Turn one Thrall. Time for a true display of skill. Yeah, because now the onus is on them. Of course, I'm keeping Troll Chant to protect the Dark Lorn Inquisitor. Hope they don't have Vengeance. But yeah, they do. We got another one. Um, I could play the, the Swain, though, and I guess like they don't really have blockers for Swain, but Swain just attacks for six. But this will pop this Frozen Thrall, and we get another Frozen Thrall started, so getting the Dark Lord Inquisitor in play as early as possible. Uh, definitely important. Okay, well that was basically a Vengeance. Dealt eight damage. Eight damage is a little much. So of course doing that to turn on Ravenous Flock. I the but I guess I don't have Troll Chan now. 
but I want I want to ravenous flock the Ezreal, and I didn't want I didn't want them to be able to I didn't want to do one I didn't want to do one damage to my own Inquisitor right like that's that was something I didn't want to happen. Alright, so Swain, you're at 8 already? That's a lot. Alright, so they got a copy of Inquisitor that's a 5 6. And it'll just get replaced with something else. And they get a frozen thrall. Six five challenger. That's annoying. Six five challenger is annoying. So the plus one plus one stays on there from interrogative improvement. That's interesting. I wasn't sure if that was going to be the case. Very good troll chant. Glad we saved that. Because this kindred is super scary. <laughs> Glory Seeker. That would have been a good one to have before you attack. That would have been good to have before you attack. Okay, so I think I'm just going to Avalanche. Avalanche. I mean, I can't stop Ledros. What do you want me to do about Ledros? Hmm. So that's a good play there. Because that... that turns my, you know, that means I don't get to Ravenous Flock anymore. No, I don't. Because I, I needed Ravenous Flock to try to kill this Kindred. No, I don't get that anymore. Um, however, I can play the Swain, and right now their only way to deal with the Swain is blocking with Kindred. So we do get to do that. Hopefully not a three power thing. No, a three power thing. By my hand, the Noxus rise. Witness strength. She sees all. What the Empire? All right, that puts them down to zero, which is not very much life. Yep, they can't survive. Okay, cool. Lissandra Swain doing its thing. That big 8-8 Overwhelm certainly helped out. Raise the Noctora. Raise the Noctora and remember this day. Ooh, Leeson. I've not played against the Lee Sin deck since the new region came out, and they are trying Lee Sin with the new region. We're gonna get rid of Tavern Keeper. I don't know about this ravine. We'll probably get rid of that too. I don't know what they got going on over here. Alright, what does the circle with the one next to my name mean?
Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, you figured it out. Yeah, it's your prediction. Okay, so they're doing some predict stuff. Predict does seem pretty awesome with Lee Sin. Um, yeah, predict seems pretty awesome with Lee Sin. So I think, you know, I'm going to try to be going with, like, this Blighted Ravine the following turn to kill all these. It does mean that I take four in the meantime. Yeah, because I'm not using the Death Sand. Really, you would have been great to play, to play last turn, Whisper Words. Well, that's all right. Taking four. Healing four. Some synergy. Unfortunately, no Dark Lord Inquisitor. That would have been a great five drop to play right here. All right, we've been denied. So if I attack, they have to block. They don't have to block, but I think it's a pretty good attack. My three six on their four two. Worst case scenario, they spend another card to kill my Swain, and we've got a two for one. No, not Lee Sin. I made my choice long ago. But that's the thing with the predicts, though. They're not really playing any spells. Come on in. Come on in. Lissandra? What you doing? Okay, okay. This one's on the house. Hmm, do I even mess with this? I guess we do force them to play two spells for barrier. This is champion spell. Draw two spells, don't do that. This Lee Sin's gonna be super annoying to deal with. I wish we had some Flash Freeze cards. Is there very much Overwhelm in Shurima? They don't have that much Overwhelm. We can... I don't know, maybe not die right away. Yeah, I'm not playing in Tomb. I wish I was playing a tomb, but I'm not. What's up in tomb? How about that? I was just talking about how I'm not playing you. Kill an ally to draw a champion. But they, you know, like the least in champion spell, really good. I wanted to play Draclorn this turn. But if I play Death Sand, I can't. But I also want to, like, Death Sand the Lee Sin to, like, get rid of Barrier. So it takes damage. Yeah, zero mana draw a champion, not bad. Alright, so yeah, I guess, I guess we're gonna have to Entomb. Because otherwise, Lissandra dies, and then just turns into another regular Lissandra. But if they if they have Deny, so they've played, what, one Deny so far? If they have Deny, then two of my Lissandras are gone. I think I'm just going to let this happen. 
I follow the Freljord's true leader. Their true leader. Alright, leveled up with Sandra. Casting Avalanche first just to level up my elite my uh Swain. Spirit fire. Spears ready. And it's gonna level up. Yeah, we're definitely going to be trying to kill this Lee Sin with, with Death's Hand and Ravenous Flock. I'm just going to let this happen to now, because, um, yeah, we just do the one damage to bust up the barrier. So now the barrier is gone. And then if they have, like, one mana protection, like the plus three, plus one card, and we need to, then we can cast the Avalanche. If we don't need to, we can play the Lissandra. Now we'll create the Watcher. Alright, we got the Watcher. So it was worse for us to... Like, it was better for us to... To do the... Um... That was the correct order to do, to wait on the Death's Hand. Okay, so we can get rid of Barrier with this, but of course Barrier doesn't really matter that much. Hmm. Didn't really help. Okay. Just no Overwhelm, please. As long as they don't have Overwhelm... Take five. Doesn't really make... I don't really see the ice shards really making that much sense. Yet. I mean... So what, it kills... Like, it kills my kindly tavern keeper and does one damage to them? Like, that doesn't sound the best. Like, I think I'd rather have the kindly tavern keeper in play. Destroy one of your mana gems to draw a champion. So they have another Lee Sin in hand. What do you mean? I can levy Watcher now? What? I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Double Avalanche is not killing Lee Sin. So we know one card in hand is the Lee Sin champion spell. They may have like Concussive Palm or something else besides that. I love that they're blocking the 3-1, of course, because my 3-1 dies if I play the Ice Shard. So I love that they block that. Act free of God. This puts them to five. Obviously doing this to get rid of the barrier.
Alright, so Leviathan doesn't kill them. Leviathan will put them down to two. Which does not kill them. So I am going to... Cast this. And then I think I just go with the, with the ravine over the other avalanche. Just because it heals my nexus a little bit. It also, like, the ravine puts them down to three, which makes the leviathan lethal. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what their ways to give Leviathan Overwhelm really are, but that's kind of, that's what, it, or sorry, Lee Sin. What, their, what, what are their ways to give Lee Sin Overwhelm? But that's what it kind of seems like that's what they need. But yeah, they can they can keep on drawing more Lee Sins, though. That's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. Okay, well, I'll pass, obviously. Only I can endure the Dragon's Fury. The Dragon's Fury. So what's their, what would be the worst case scenario for me for their one spell? I guess Deep Meditation. Let's see, I pass, they pass. Because if I pass, they probably pass and end the turn. Um, that's not like the worst thing for me though. But it, we could certainly do better. Okay. Cool. That'll do. We didn't get to throw a, a coin to the Watcher, but we still won the game. Silver LeBlanc. Silver LeBlanc. They got like double champion mastery already. They've been playing these two quite a bit. Let's mulligan. I think everything. I could see keeping Swain. They're, they should be pretty aggressive with those. We're just going to send them all back. Let's look for some earlier stuff. I, have my orders. I guess their orders are to kill us. Those aren't cool orders. Those are bad orders. Alright, so we'll take five. But good avalanche. I'll wait on this Ravenous Flock. Maybe we draw another Avalanche. Also do have the Death's Hand. I want to see what happens here. Alright, cool. Things are working out. No Draclorn. Draclorn would have been awesome. No Draclorn, though. This thing hits for five. We're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Do, 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 do. To get a mine out of their hand, but they do have six cards in hand still. We are going to have frozen thralls by the time they attack next turn. 
Um, so, oh, I could play the Draclorn and speed that up, but it makes more sense to play the Leviathan. We'll already have another 8-8 eight, eight next turn. Wealth is merely a foolish distraction, my dear. Then call me a rich, distracted fool. Got a lot of cards over there. Okay, sweet. We'll take it. So deck's all about avalanches and big eight eights. <laughs> avalanches and eight drops. Ooh, Azir Hecarim. This kind of matchup where harrowing could be brutal. That sand's just pretty slow. So we'll send it back. I'll keep the troll chant to protect my tavern keeper, make it a good blocker. Yeah, I'm worried about yeah, Ice Shard could be good. I'm worried about the the two three, right? Like the the uh, we played against this deck one other time today, and the two three really killed us. The two drop that makes the ephemeral gives the ephemerals plus one plus one. And so that's what I was worried about. You need not follow, but you will witness. I don't know. So that avalanche just kills Bark Beast, but usually it wouldn't kill Bark Beast. You know, if I if I don't cast it, Bark Beast is a three three, and it won't kill Bark Beast. Yep, a zero being a three three makes my life a little better. Come on in. How about another round? I don't have any fro turn one frozen thralls for my Draclorn. If I kill the Shark Chariot, then it's gonna just come back. I wish I had five mana. I wish I could Avalanche and Ravenous Flock, but I can only do one. Because Avalanche would keep the Shark Chariot from coming back. Go down to 11. What are they thinking about? Black Spear? It's gotta be Black Spear. Just make my life a little easier later. Wish we had a frozen thrall in play turn one. Let's get the countdown started. So I heard you want to draw two cards. Give me a lot of drain. I don't love where, the, where this is at. Tell the people what you have seen. I really don't love where this is at. Lendai, but Sharima lives 
forever. So this forces this forces them to attack with either Azir or Neverglade Collector. We trade Darklorn for whatever they attack with. Um, or, you know, I get to block with Darklorn. You're right. So, like, it makes their attack pretty poor. Oh, obviously. Never mind. Never mind. That was just perfect. Yeah, that was just perfect. GG's. Really nice setup there with Shark Chariots against the control deck. You know, like we're, you know, we are just a, a control deck and Shark Chariot is a wonderful threat. And then Neverglade Collector, also a wonderful threat against control. Um, yeah, really nice setup there for the opponent. Um, I think I should have just probably mulliganed everything. I kept Tavern Keeper, Troll Chant, thinking that like the Tavern Keeper would heal me from early attacks. And then Troll Chant would be nice to have it in combat. But I think I should have just mulliganed everything and, you know, maybe got more Ice Shards, Avalanches, more Ravenous Flocks. That kind of stuff. Maybe got a turn one Frozen Thrall. That would have been really nice to have access to. So I, I think I should have just mulliganed everything that turn. Or that game. Um, good good to know. Uh, we, we did just... Like, that was the, the kind of thing. is you know, like They're like the aggro deck with those sticky threats. We drew all three of our Whispered Words. Just the worst card in our deck, right? Because we just can't... We can't spend the, the four mana for these draw twos. And unfortunately, that's all we drew. Like, you know, we drew all three of them. And that was uh, really bad. So unfortunately, we drew, drew three copies of the worst card. To draw and um they had a really good hand you know multiple shark chariots and multiple azir and that never like collector was awesome um a hecarim would have really destroyed us too so it's like it's not like they had like their best possible hand right like a, a hecarim would have really been rough um but good good learning lesson i think I'd, i think uh next time i play something like that i think mulligan tavern keeper i think i was overrating uh tavern keeper because it's, it's a really good card to have later on but i think it's not really necessary on turn three i think that we want to look for Frozen Thrall, Ravenous Flock, those cards can be really nice. And then, you know, obviously our other sweepers and stuff. Uh, but so good games. And that's what, you know, that's what it's about. It's about learning, right? Like I wouldn't have thought that like, you know, I would have thought like, okay, definitely keep Tavern Keeper in those kind of matchups. But I think, think you know, for how it kind of looks, how it plays out, I think that's something that we can send it back uh, moving forward. But good games here. We'll take a three and two in, uh, in ranked. That's always, you know, a positive record. We'll keep keep taking those positive records, keep learning, uh, keep going. I, I liked this deck. This was a real fun one to play. If you like playing control and you like just sweeping up the board, you know, go for it. Look for so look for Frozen Thrall in your opener. It really increases the power of your deck if you have Frozen Thrall on turn one, so that your your Draclorn Inquisitor when you play that later gets the eight eight on you know turn five or turn six that's really important so look for that in your opener and then look for like like ravenous flock is a really good one to have because you know it just costs one mana and then your other cards like ice shard avalanche and blighted ravine i think that's kind of like where you you really want to look for like those cards um in your opener especially in those kind of matchups um uh yes i i like i like blighted ravine yep i like blighted ravine it was nice for us and especially how you know like i kept tavern keeper to, to try to protect against those early attacks but blighted ravine kind of does that too right gets your nexus healing for four right away this is a fun one to play and you know we got extra card draw against the control decks with the whisper words that's really nice because against against other control decks like this you can get stuck with those kind of cards with your eye shards avalanche blighted ravines you can stuck with like a lot of those and so it's nice having extra card draw in here, but hopefully you don't draw it in the wrong matchup. All right, but that's Lissandra Swain, fun one to play. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments as always. What'd you think of the deck? Hope y'all enjoyed this one. Hopefully y'all give it a try. If you try it out yourself, um, leave those comments about it. You know, Give me those experiences. Let me know um, how the deck's playing for you and everything. I love hearing about that. All right, but that's it here for Lissandra Swain. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.